Bible scholars. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Miss Keffer. For those of you who do know me, I miss you so much. Um, it's so sad not getting to see you at school every day, but despite being away from school, I hope you are still doing well. Today with you guys, I wanna do an activity that I often do with my kindergartners at Monta Vista South. And uh, that is an activity where they give me some different ideas of things they would like to see how to draw. And then I kind of combine, the, combine those things up into um, one solid image up on the board. Um, the ideas we get sometimes are pretty crazy and we have a lot of fun. Um, and even though at the end we've all drawn the same thing, each individual picture always has something special about it um, as reflected um, by the scholar who drew it. Um, and that's sort of what I want to do with you guys today. Now, unfortunately, I cannot ask you what you want to draw along with me. So I had to make some decisions, uh, but I hope you guys enjoy the picture that we come out with. Um, I'm just going to draw it with black marker on my whiteboard right here. Um, but I encourage you guys when you are finished to use crayons and colored pencils and markers to sort of add um, color to finish your masterpiece off. Now, the first thing I want you to do is have your paper horizontal. I've drawn a piece of paper up here on the board so you guys can see how it needs to go. I'm not going to tell you what we're drawing right away, um, but you'll probably have some guesses as to what it is as we move through the process. So first, I want you to take your pencil and um, come over to this far side and draw a straight line. Pretty simple. We're going to bring that line back down to here and then straight down like this. After we do that, I want you to add a small curve right here just to close it off, just slightly curved. Next, what I want you to do is start right here at the opening of what looks like a mouth, and we are going to draw waves. So we have water like this, and I want your water to go up and then stop, don't go all the way because what we're going to draw here is a large wave. So we have a wave coming up like this, there's a curve. And you know how the top of a wave usually has all that white foamy water? So we're going to do that kind of like drawing a cloud. We're going to come up like this and have our foamy top of our wave. Next, you can add some ripples in your water like that. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is draw a circle right here like this. I'd make my circle darker. Um, this is going to be an eye because in case you have not yet guessed, this right here is going to be a large sea monster. I'm going to add an eyelid to my eye. You do not have to do so, but I'm going to do that by going across like this. And then I'm going to add the pupil of the eye because our sea monster is a reptile. It's going to be more like a, um, a, a thin curved line rather than a circle that's filled in. So I'm going to go like this. And because it's a sea monster, uh, it's going to need some teeth. So we'll bring teeth down like this, kind of the same sort of shapes we were making with our waves. Um, if you would like, you can also Make your teeth more straight up and down, whichever you prefer. I will do both for y'all's sake. Gonna erase part of my wave right there so it's not in my tooth. There we go. Okay, next I'm gonna add a nose on the very top of my sea monster's head. So he's got a nose right here. Got a circle so that he can smell. So there's, there's my sea monster right there. Next, I want to draw, um, we're going to have some, I would like clouds just over here because it wouldn't be a day out on the ocean if there weren't some clouds blowing around in the wind. And next, right here, it's gonna take up about this much space, we are going to draw a ship. So first, um, and make sure you don't draw the ship too big because we don't want to make our sea monster look small. We have a very large sea monster here, which could cause some problems for the people on the, sh the ship, but don't worry, they're gonna figure it out. So first we have our ship, um, just a basic boat. You do a curved line across the top and two curved lines down. 
And because our boat is in the water, you're not going to see the bottom of it because it's resting down in the waves. <coughs> Next, I'm going to draw ovals across the front to show that there are windows in the side of my ship. Um, I'm going to have a bigger one right here and some smaller ones going this way. Those are the windows in my ship. Next, because it's the ship, I'm going to need a mast, which is a tall post in the center of the ship that we are then going to attach a sail to. So um, first, so that we don't have to erase, we're going to draw the sail. So our sail is going to come up to a curved line on one side and a curved line on the other, and then straight lines across the top and the bottom. Next, you're going to draw two lines coming down off of your sail, and that is going to be the mast where um, the sail attaches to the ship. And we are also going to draw part of the mast coming out of the top. And on top of it, we're going to draw um, a crow's nest, which is like a, um, it's an area built on top of the mast that a person could climb up and sit in so they can see really far while they're out on the waves. So we're going to draw um, one of those right here. You're going to draw it very similarly to how we drew our ship. Just a curve on the top and two curves on the sides. Now, we have people on our ship and they do not want to be attacked by the giant sea monster. They need a way to escape. Um, and luckily for them, they happened to be passed by a man in a special flying ship. And he's going to save them. So first, we're going to draw a little person up here in our crow's nest. Um, waiting to escape. So I'm just going to draw a little stick person um, with his arms out. He's got a little hat on. Um, you can be more detailed if you would like. I don't have as much space here on the board. Um, and next, right over here, we are going to draw a large rectangle, which is a basket. Because our sailors are being saved, you know, I'm going to move this down. I want there to be more space. Our sailors are being saved by a hot air balloon. So we're going to see the top of the balloon right here. And it's attached to the balloon with ropes like this. And this is a basket, so I'm going to draw texture on my basket. Now, hot air balloons are usually really colorful with lots of different designs on them. Um, in your picture, you can leave more room and draw more of the hot air balloon than I have drawn. You can't see as much of mine, um, but I'm going to do some patterns on my hot air balloon. Um, mine has a triangle pattern along the bottom. Um, it has small circles along the top. Um, and I also want there to be a jagged line going along here. Um, there'd be different stripes and layers going all the way up the top of my air balloon. Um, and you can use all kinds of different colors uh, when you draw that part. Um, next, we have to see how the men are going to get in the hot air balloon from the crow's nest. So right over here, we have a rope ladder, which is being swung down to the men. Um, it has weights on the end of it so that it stays sturdy. And it's a ladder, so it has to have rungs. And I'm going to draw a man um, holding on to the rope ladder over here. He's got a little hat. And another one over here. They are crawling to safety, and they are waiting for their friend to come along with them. Now, this um, this picture is not totally random. Um, you guys have probably heard of Tom Sawyer or Huckleberry Finn. And what you may not know is that the um, author of those stories, Mark Twain, he actually wrote lots and lots of sequels to Tom Sawyer, um, such as um, the story Tom, Say Tom Sawyer Goes Abroad. And this is actually a scene from that book where he is on a ship and there is a storm um, and a sea monster trying to attack them and they escape by means of an airship being driven by a friend that they had met earlier. So if you don't know what you should be reading, 
you can know now that um, there are lots of different extensions to stories like Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn that you may not have known about previously. So this is my finished drawing. Um, you guys, please feel free to um, add colors and lines, add more people. Um, you can add more things down in the water, anything you want. Um, but this is just what I wanted to share with you guys today.